Hey everybody and welcome to this video, I'm Inkslora123 and in this video I'm going to be talking about my haunted house. Things that have happened in my house over the years that have been very spooky and scary and eerie. So I've got a list here that I did with my fiancé Nathan of things that have happened over the years. Now some of the things that have happened we probably have forgotten about and then after this video I'll be like, oh yeah, that happened as well. Um, so these are just some of the things that we could remember because as I say, lots of things have happened over the years of a spooky nature. So, you know, it's hard to remember like, everything but we sat down, we did a list, so yeah. Okay, so hopefully you'll enjoy this video. If you do, please click like and comment and please subscribe to my channel. I want to apologise, by the way, for this horrible, disgusting looking spot on my face. It looks terrible. So paranoid about it. I probably shouldn't have said anything. Now you're just going to stare at it. But anyway, I've said about it now, so whatever. Anyway, right, let's get spooky. So the first thing that is on my list, by the way, these are in no particular order. It's not that like this is scarier than this or this is scarier than this. It's just that this is what we could think of at the time. We just wrote the, the list, okay? So, yeah, there was a black shape um, in front of our lounge door. So in our lounge, we've got like a, a door with like lots of glass panels in it. So you can see through to the other side into the hall. And um, this ha actually happened to Nathan. He was on his own one morning and he was basically sitting at the table and something quite, kind of caught his eye and he looked up through the door where the uh, window, like the glass panels are, and he saw this shape and he said it looked like, I've wrote this down to be exact, it was like a shape of a female. It was all like really dark, like a shadow figure and it had like a vowel over the face and it just kind of peered round looking at him and then just went whoosh, and disappeared so um, basically got up to investigate what was going on and uh, he yeah opened the door there was like nothing in the hallway or anything so it's a bit creepy he looked really freaked out actually I remember when I come home and he told me what had happened he looked so freaked out um, next up the girl in the garden also Nathan Nathan I think is very kind of open to spirit you know communication he's not like into it like I am I'm really into the whole spiritual thing but he obviously believes in it and I don't know they feel like they maybe can talk to him or show themselves to him more than say me because I'm a wimp um, but yeah he basically one day was in the garden having a cigarette he doesn't smoke anymore he's give up which is good uh, but he was having a cigarette and it was in an afternoon and he saw uh, a little girl literally in the garden with long blonde hair wearing a white dress and he couldn't make out what like kind of era it was because was, she was just wearing a white dress so it could have been any era um, but yeah she was just smiling in the garden and then he like double looked and she was completely gone also um, this happened to me so this was one night I was up really late downstairs filming a video for my other channel Minx Lawrence for ASMR got to get a you know, promotion in there um, but yeah I was up really late and I was sitting downstairs on my own, had a microphone set up, I was filming and everything. And all of a sudden, I heard this massive almighty bang. And I was like, what is that? Bear in mind, my mum was upstairs asleep. Nathan didn't live here at that point, so it was just me and my mum. And I was like, what was that? So I got up, frightened, obviously. Um, and in the kitchen, there was this massive ghost book um, that I'd previously got out from the library uh, like the week before so I'd put it on the back near the sink like it wasn't hanging off the edge or anything like that it was just far back at the sink so I was due to take it back to the library and basically this book had gone flying from the back of the sink area onto the middle of the kitchen floor and this was a huge big like hardback book you know it was massive and there's no way it would have slipped off or anything and if it would which it didn't slip off it would have gone like below it but it was like literally sitting on the floor in the middle of the kitchen when I went in so that was pretty freaky. And the fact that it was like ghost related as well, it's just like, mm. so that was that. Um, next up, because there are lots of spooky stuff, you know, and occurrences happening in this house, sometimes we do set up some little investigation tools, including having our voice recorder out to try and catch some EVPs. So we've caught lots of EVPs um, over the years, including, I've wrote this down, a horrible, deep, loud breath. It was like this. <sighs> Yeah, but it was really freaky when we played it back, especially if you're wearing earphones when you're listening back, you're like, oh. So it was really hard. I think it's probably the, the darkest kind of sounding EVP we've had. Um, we've also had like cool sounds of the taps, like just turning on in the kitchen when there's no one in there or the bathroom. Um, and we've also heard like the sound of the kitchen drawer being open. Bearing in mind, this is the middle of the night when we're leaving the recorder out. So no one's in the kitchen 
at all. And we had a camera to prove that my mum hadn't gone into the kitchen or anything. So it's literally the sound of one of the drawers opening and shutting. Um, also, on some of my videos, I've actually captured orbs. So when I'm filming like a normal vlog or an ASMR video for the other channel, um, yeah, I've looked back whilst editing and you can see orbs. And like, they always look the same. They're always like round balls, like see-through. A bit like a bubble, but darker than a, a bubble, but a big bubble. And it kind of just floats and then just disappears into nothing. And I've, I've seen, when I watch the orbs on the video, they've always been like near me. Like seen them like around me and stuff. So they're not like over there or over here. They're always quite nearby. Um, and actually, we also had like a mystery box we did a while ago. Uh, that's on this channel. Uh, the video I bought like this paranormal themed mystery box like you do and when we were doing some footage for that we actually caught an orb um, near the back door uh, so that was a bit freaky but normally with the orbs there when I'm in shot like you can see me and then the orb will be quite near me um, oh yeah so basically we get a lot of times when our lights in different rooms get turned on and we haven't turned them on like we've got a room upstairs in the loft it's been like a loft conversion and sometimes we'll look up and be like, it's a light on up there. Neither of us have been upstairs and my mum can't get up the stairs because they're like really thin little stairs and she can't get up them. Um, but yeah, she, she's not been up there. Me and Nathan haven't been up there and the light's just on, which is really creepy. Uh, also in our bedroom, the light's gone on downstairs. You know, we know that we haven't turned the light on and it's just on. So it's quite creepy. And also the television sometimes turns itself on. And as I said before, the taps like in the bathroom or the kitchen, the shower sometimes. I've been filming before and I can hear the sound of the, the shower like treacling, but obviously no one's in the shower and I'm just like in here filming. So things turn themselves on quite a lot. Uh, next up, this happened to me quite a few years ago actually. So I was in bed one morning I was having a little lay-in, so I was awake, but I was relaxed, obviously, because I wasn't having a lay-in in bed. And I literally felt something really heavy sit down next to me. And I was like, hmm. So I was facing that way, but I felt it this way. And I, I just thought, well, Nathan's not here because he was at work. Um, and I thought, not being disrespectful, but my mum is a bit of a bigger lady. So I thought, oh, maybe my mum's got into bed with me, which, you know, was a bit weird. But I thought, it must be that. And I, could f I literally could feel someone like, just moving about next to me, like trying to get comfortable kind of thing. I, I thought, what's she doing? So I turn around, nobody there, nothing there. And I was like, what the, you know, so I get up, come into my mum's bedroom and she was sound asleep, snoring. And yeah, it was really, it was really creepy actually. Um, oh yeah, next up, I have to read off these notes because otherwise I forget stuff. And next up, there's a picture of me and Nathan that sits um, right above our bed, it hangs up in a really nice silver frame. And uh, I've had this photo up there for years, literally. Ever since we kind of got together, you start getting, you know, couple photos done. Um, so, yeah, I've had this literally up there for years. And in the last, I'd say, two months, two to three months, now and again, not all the time, but now and again, the photo will literally be, like, pulled out of the photo frame. So, like, we'll come in the bedroom and the photo will be, like, hanging out. And we're like, you touched the photo frame? And I'm like, no. You know, so... Neither of, us, neither of us are doing it, but for some reason the photo's just been like pulled out at the bottom. They obviously don't like that photo of us, I don't know. I think it's a nice photo, but there we go. Um, but then the other day, we come home from work and literally, like the photo was literally on the floor. Like it had been physically pulled out. So, you know, we'd already check the photo frame, see if the back was loose or, you know, something like that. But it's firmly in place. It's quite an expensive photo frame. It's not like a cheap one. So... Literally, everything's fine with the frame, but something is pulling the photo out, and it was on the floor. This is really weird. Really, really weird. I said to Nathan, should we change that photo? Because obviously they, they don't like it. But we like the photo. It's a nice photo of us, and it's one of, you know, an early photo of us. So we're going to keep it up. Um, obviously, if it continues, then maybe I'll think about changing the picture. Uh, next up, this is about Nathan's brother. So Nathan's brother, Jamie, stayed with us for a couple of nights. I think this was last year. Yeah, it was last year. Um, and basically, he stayed in the spare room. So what I'm going to do, actually, after I've done this kind of ramble, I'll kind of film some footage around the house to show you bits and pieces where, you know, stuff I've mentioned in different rooms and stuff. But anyway, the spare room, the box room, is basically, I think, the hauntedest room in the house. It is the most scariest room. Everyone has ever been in there or stayed in there always feels something, sees something heard something uh, so Jamie stayed in there 
and we thought we're not going to tell him anything about oh it's a scary room because he'll put it in his mind so we didn't say anything and then like the next morning he just looked terrified he was like oh it's such an awful sleep i couldn't sleep because i kept hearing tapping banging he was so bad apparently he was so scared uh, that he had to put his earphones in and listen to music because he just couldn't relax in that room at all so yeah he was literally petrified and a few months ago they come around here and visited and stuff and we kind of made a joke it was like oh jamie do you want to go and have a lay down in the bedroom and he's like oh no he literally looks petrified you know what i mean he's like it would not look at that room um and also my dad when my mum and dad split up um you know when parents split up they don't stay in the same bed thing anymore my dad went into the spare room and he stayed in there for a while until he moved out and yeah basically he would <laughs> like hear scratching sounds tapping banging just felt very uneasy in there and even now if my dad comes around he will not go in that room like he feels very like dark about it it just doesn't like that room um oh yeah so um the same room once again there's been shadow scene i'll show you in a bit as i say on the footage but there's like the door to the box room the spare room it's got like wooden slates like a wooden two doors together and they're like wooden slates you can see through and sometimes if you stand at the bottom of the stairs you just feel drawn to look up there for some reason and a few times i've seen like a shadow kind of like just going past it's really weird it's really creepy and i've like run upstairs and there's like nothing there um right oh yeah teddy bears moving um and also like being put in random places on the floor there'd be many a time when i would go to work come home no one had been in the house nathan didn't live here at that point and me and my mum would come home i would just find a teddy bear in the middle of the hallway out there um like no one had put it there no one had been here sort of thing um there'd be in my bedroom as well just randomly on the floor it was really weird it was really weird um yeah really weird <laughs> next up um i can't read my own writing which is worrying um loft oh yeah Oh, so basically we got our loft converted into a room as i said before it's, we had a loft conversion done it's really cool up there it's like my part nathan's part he's got all his gaming stuff in one um bit of the loft room and i've got my teddy bears and my books and stuff in the other bit anyway so when the whole loft conversion was being done um i would lay in bed at night nathan hadn't moved in yet and i would hear literally footsteps really loud footsteps like literally like someone was walking number one no one was up there and number two there wasn't even any floorboards at the time because it was in the process of being like you know dumb there were no floorboards so yeah that used to really creep me out actually and when we actually got the loft done and we was like yeah we can go upstairs now i was kind of like petrified because i'd heard all these noises and things like that but luckily it's all been painted and all this stuff's up there now so when i feel when i'm up there i feel like comfort and not scared but i don't know when it was all being done but they do often say that when you, you do like home improvements in your house things get changed it does kind of you know wake the spirits up a bit and they don't really like change and stuff like that um sounds of, oh yeah so sounds of banging and falling stuff sometimes we can be sitting downstairs or up here and we just hear like loud bangs literally like something fell off on the floor so we're like oh what's that and you go in to look nothing this is nothing on the floor it's, it's really weird it happens quite a lot actually there's really loud bangs of something dropping um but nothing there so this one i find really comforting even though it's scary um but one night me and nathan had been scared about a year i think it was and um he was staying around here basically and i fell asleep on the sofa kind of rested on his legs kind of like laid out on him sort of thing and uh this happened as soon as he w i woke up he told me what had happened he looked white as a sheet he was so scared basically he'd seen an old man standing right in front of one of the sofas looking at us or mainly looking at me sleeping and smiling and he was holding a mug and he described exactly the clothing that he was wearing like a shirt and blue trousers and a big tie and he had like a newspaper in his back pocket basically i was like well, what who's that you know and then i basically i thought oh i wonder if it's my granddad because me and my granddad and my grandma were like really really close i love them so much miss them dearly um and so i got a photo of my granddad from the photo box showed him i was like and i literally went and say is this him and he was like that's the man i saw so yeah um nathan had never met my granddad but he literally before he'd seen the photo described him to a t um, and he said he just looked so happy and it was like he was just kind of looking over and going you know good job she's happy she's got someone good and i find that scary obviously because it's a ghost 
but calming because I love my granddad and I miss him so, so much. Like, seriously, I'm a grandma. So it's nice to know that they are still around and they are like, checking up on us and stuff, looking over us. Um, oh, yeah, this happened one night. This is probably, I would say, one of my personal worst ever scary things that have happened ever. And if it ever happens again, I'll just be like, oh. Basically, I was sitting watching TV. It was about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, I don't know. It wasn't too late. Mum had gone to bed. And I literally heard... I, I can't even, like, <laughs> explain how loud it was. It literally sounded like a pack of wolves or big dogs just running along the hallway. And I was like, what? I, had, I didn't have a clue what it was. Um, so for, for that split second, because it was only my mum upstairs at the time, I thought, oh, maybe my mum's not well. So I mean, she's running to the toilet. I don't know. Um, but then I heard it again. And I was like, this is weird. So I, I got out the, off the sofa, went upstairs nothing my mum was still completely asleep snoring she always snores <laughs> and there was nothing there was nothing there at all but I heard as I say really really loud like it just sounded like a load of dogs or I don't know what it was it just really freaked me out and then when I come upstairs I was checking around nothing there I then heard a kind of a very shortened version but of the same sound upstairs in the loft so it kind of run along the hall and then up in the loft so it was very weird there's nothing there as well I checked I don't know what it was. It was either like a human, like walking on all fours or something, running, or it was it just sounded like an animal to me, running really heavy. I don't, I don't know. It's really freaky. Um, yeah, we do hear a lot of scratching sounds, um, and also once Nathan was in the shower, I was sitting on the floor with him in the bathroom, just like chilling out with him while he's having a shower, like you do, you know, with your partner. And yeah, literally heard this scratching down um, the doors of the bathroom. And I was like, what was that? We were the only two in the house. My mum was still at work. So I opened up the door. There's nothing there. Check downstairs. Nobody. But it was really loud, like, scratching. We've got wooden doors on the bathroom door, as well as, like, the box room. The same kind of doors. So, whew. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Nearly finished, I promise. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So years ago, I was, I don't know, 13, 14. I was a teenager. Any, any, I don't know what exact age, but anyway. Um, but I'd, I've been really ill. I'd had the flu. And I used to lay on the sofa because I couldn't sleep in my bed. I'd come downstairs. I'd have loads of orange juice and black currant. I'd just lay on the sofa watching TV. And one night, I was basically laying on the sofa. And um, I literally felt someone, like that, like a hand, stroking my head, like comforting me. And I was like, eh? You know, you're not with it kind of thing. You're like, you're awake, but you're asleep. But, like, tired. Do you know what I mean? So I was enjoying the like the feeling of someone like stroking me, especially because I felt ill and stuff. But then I was like, "This is weird. Who is this?" And I just literally, I was so scared, and my eyes were like that because I didn't want to open them up to see who was there. Um, and I just went, Ugh. open my eyes, nothing there, nobody there. Um, you know, literally, as soon as I opened my eyes, all the stroking of my hair stopped. Very freaky. And even though it was years ago, I literally remember it like it was yesterday. I can still feel like how it made me feel. Comforted and freaking scared. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bit of wind there. Uh, next up. Um, oh, yeah. There's a man shape. The same door. The lounge door downstairs. This has got those glass panels you can see right through. Um, there's like a man shape that kind of walked through, like, walked through, walked past the door, so it's like a shadow figure that walked past. Me and Nathan both saw it at the same time. It's back in the day when we both smoked, and we were sitting on the floor um, near my back door, just having a cigarette, because we were naughty back then. And we both kind of looked, and I was like, did you see, see that? And it's like, yeah, did you see that? So I think it kind of, like, clarifies it even more. Like, you know when you've seen something, but when someone else has seen something as well, you're like, I'm definitely not mad. Do you know what I mean? Very creepy. Uh, can't read my own writing, which is really terrible. Oh, yeah, in our back garden, there's definitely there's definitely something out there. And it doesn't feel it doesn't feel nice. I'm a bit funny about my garden. Like, I like it in the daytime, but at night, I will not go in that garden. It freaks me out. And it's a certain area, which I'll show you on the video, but it's right at the back of the garden in the corner. So we've got the shed one side and... Like just the corner of the other side where there's like a big tree. And for some reason, me and Nathan both feel it. And it's like a, a, just a presence there. Like, I can't even describe it. I know we've physically not seen anything, but we just, we feel it. It's always there. And we both say, it's that corner. So it's, 
there's just definitely something there and we and sometimes like there's um been times when i've heard i've been out there and like you just hear little footsteps and there's like no one there i don't know there's always something about that area i don't i don't like Nathan doesn't like either. Um, we have heard the sound of a female humming a tune, like, do -do 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 -do, which we both heard, and there was no music playing, there was nobody outside because we checked. We were just sitting there, and it was just literally, it was like, it was literally like, do -do 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 -do. this is really creepy. Um, also, sometimes I smell like um, my grandma, bless her, she always used to use the same hairspray, it was Elnet hairspray, in like the gold coloured. A tin and yeah she'd always use that spray she's the only person who uses hairspray and sometimes even now well not, not now like because I'm filming this but as in now these days I still can randomly smell this Elnet hairspray like I just smell it around none of us have got like we don't even own it it's not in the house or anything um so yeah that's pretty freaky because she she used to put loads on her hair she'd do her hair and then like spray it for like ages and my mum used to moan she'd be like <laughs> It's going down my throat. Um, but yeah, sometimes you do get the kind of Elnet uh, smell. And last but not least, um, the last thing is another smell. Um, a few nights ago, well, well, a couple of weeks ago, actually, thinking about it. It was a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I come into the bedroom before Nathan. Nathan was still downstairs. And I smelt this most grotesque, horrible smell. Like, the only way I can describe it is kind of rotten eggs kind of smell. It was just rancid. It was vile. <laughs> and I was like, oh, and I thought, well, what is it? And I was sniffing around the whole room, go to go downstairs to tell Nathan. And I was like, oh, this is horrible smell in the room. So we come up to bed, and he's like, what smell? But the smell was complete, like, it literally gone, and it would only been like, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds later. It was no smell at all. It was gone. I don't know what that was. I don't know how it went that quick, but it was like proper, full on, rancid, disgusting smell. Just disappeared. Really weird. Really weird. Obviously, there have been other things over the years, but we couldn't think of any more. Like, you know, it's hard to, like, write a list of all these things. But no doubt, I'll, as I say, I'll finish this video and be like, oh, what about that? And what about this? And about that? But there we go. But I think that's enough to kind of tell you that the house is very haunted. Um, I don't feel like a negative, bad presence here. I honestly feel it is my family. Um, and I also feel it could be, like, maybe someone who used to live here. Um, I know years ago, Vicar used to have this house um it's quite ironic because i'm jewish but there we go <laughs> but um i don't know too much about the people who've did before and sometimes i think it could be just spirits kind of passing through and doing the thing i think the running above me the really loud like sound like a dog thing that was probably as i say the most freakiest but also uh, for nathan he said the scariest thing out of that list was definitely like the the kind of female figure that he saw through the door um, with like the black veil and the way it kind of just went looked round, just went phew, like went down the like round the side and he didn't know what happened to it um so that was quite scary <sighs> but there we go hopefully you've enjoyed this video what i'm going to do now is go round with my phone because i'm filming on my phone oh that spot looks so bad <laughs> um i'm going to go around and just kind of show you some of the areas in the house that i've been talking about and yeah, I love all things paranormal and spooky. Ever since I was a kid, I've been fascinated by it. I think it's, well, I don't think, I know it's because my dad. My dad was always as well into like UFOs, ghosts, vampires, all stuff like that. And the amount of books I would see hanging around and I'd look at them and he'd tell me stories and stuff like that. So I've always been like fascinated with the paranormal and I'm quite open to it. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do in a few days is do a video. I've downloaded this app um, a little while ago on my phone it's like a spirit box app um, I did it for a video I was doing on my other channel but now I know some of you might be like oh, they're not real apps you know some of these ghost hunting tools that you can get on your phone they're not real you know they're just kind of entertainment things and you're probably right because they are some of them are just for entertainment purposes and um, there are other ones that like real like paranormal investigators use as well in their investigations but most of them probably are a little bit you know just for entertainment purposes but uh, a lot of ghost hunters do say that even though these apps are just for fun that the spirits will and sometimes do communicate through them because they just feel like it's a kind of calling you know you're going oh look there's a ghost app here it's only a bit of fun but they see it as like oh hello we can talk to you through this um so yeah i've got this spirit box i've been trying it out a few times and sometimes i've sat there for ages nothing but another time when i was filming the other day i said is anyone here 
and you can actually hear it go, I'm here with you or something like, it sounded like here with you or I'm here with you, really creepy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do in a few days is just basically um, leave my phone with the spirit box just running for about you know, half an hour or so and just have my recorder next to it and my camcorder so then we can all kind of watch the footage back and kind of yeah if you spot anything or hear anything just let me know and I'll obviously listen out as well myself so yeah I want to do more it's kind of paranormal stuff on this channel because I, I love love all things paranormal so yeah okay everybody so I'm gonna take you around now a little bit uh, to the areas of the house that I've mentioned in this video okay <laughs> okay so this is the photo that um gets pulled out of the frame by the way if you can see a reflection in there it's because nathan's playing his call of duty game but yeah this is the actual photo in the frame um that gets pulled out so that's that so these are the bathroom doors as i say so they're the wooden ones so this is what we heard like this scratch so this is the spare room, the box room, and yeah, this is like ooh, the creepiest room in the house. So basically years ago, this used to be my little toy room. I used to have all my toys in here, and now it's just like a spare room. I've got some books here as well on my other bookcase. Um, but yeah, this is where kind of spooky stuff has happened. Um, a lot of the tapping on this chest drawers here, and also on here and on the cupboard as well so yeah this is um the creepy the creepy spare room that jamie nathan's brother is too frightened to go in and my dad he's frightened as well so i'm in the bathroom now so this is what will happen it'll be all quiet and then you hear literally just the sound of the water of the tap no one's been in there, no one's touched it, it just starts running on its own. And also, this is also what will happen, the shower just start running on its own when I'm filming in another room and no one's been in here. Okay, so we're going downstairs now. So this is the door I was telling you about with the glass panels so you can see through if you're sitting in here. There go. So Nathan was sitting, sorry about this, around here. And he literally saw through there uh, the shape. Ooh, been talking about it, freaks me out. I want to take you into the garden now and show you the bit of the back that we're scared of. A bit like the very, very back. Oh, so I'm okay ish because obviously it's daylight, but um, yeah, in the not in like night time. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so that's the end of the video. The camera looks really weird. It's only like four o'clock or something. It just looks really dark. Oh, doesn't it look freaky? I don't know why. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just looked up at the camera and I was like, oh, it looks really weird. I look really weird. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it interesting. If you do, please click like and comment and please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, tell me if you want to see more kind of paranormal stuff on this channel. I hope you do because I want to do it. And um, yeah, look out for the Spirit Box session that I'll be doing in a few days and uploading. So yeah, don't forget down below. In the description box, you'll find the links to my social media. So Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all down below. And also, if you're a bookworm as well, come and follow me on Goodreads. Because, yeah, I do love a bit of the Goodreads app. I don't know why, I feel really weird. Maybe it's because I've been talking about spooky stuff for a while now. Or, I don't know, this is the area that things have kind of seen and heard. And mm, I don't know. It's just got all a bit... A bit weird, I don't know, I feel weird. I'll go back upstairs. Nathan's upstairs, so I'll go and join him back upstairs. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Take care of yourself. Lots of love. Bye.